Hello everyone, I'm Yannis Kalafatis and together we'll learn more about the Mediterranean cuisine and diet. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Christmas holidays and uh, Happy New Year's as we didn't say previously, a little bit late, but yeah. Today we'll see how to make lukumades. That will be a recipe from Petrojikis, Akis Petrojikis. Um, and I know that the holidays are over, but we still will not stop. I uh, will make some uh, beautiful little donuts. They're uh, dairy free and they can be made gluten free if you adjust a little bit uh, the recipe. And if you stay until the end of the video, we will see uh, where the history of the recipe, where they come from, and a little bit more details. But for now, let's have a look on how to make it. Uh, we will have a little bit of details, so make sure you watch closely. Um, as I said, this is not my recipe, but we'll change a little, of, a little bit of uh, some ingredients. But so, let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pot. We're gonna get our water and honey in here to make the syrup. And the first thing we're gonna do, because we will need it cold. So we're gonna get a strong heat. We'll get our sugar in here. And we'll spray a little bit of rose water. You can find it from any supermarket. Just make sure you do a little bit of spray there to get, give it a little bit of flavor. And then we're gonna whisk until the sugar is dissolved. We'll bring it to boil and then we'll leave it to uh, cool down on a cold uh, bowl in a different utensil that will speed up uh, the cooling down process. Okay, so our water is boiling. We're gonna mix a little bit. Like that, and now we're gonna turn off the heat of the stove and into the cold in the different utensils to cool it down. Right here, we've got water, yeast, and honey. We're gonna whisk until the yeast is dissolved. Make sure you, you use lukewarm water, so help a little bit speed up the process, but not hot because you're gonna kill the yeast. And that's it. Now that preferably should stay for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna put it to the dry ingredients that we've got right here. Okay, so 10 minutes has passed. Uh, our yeast has been activated and here we've got our corn flour, flour and uh, salt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients together first. And then we'll get little bit by little bit the wet ingredients the liquids into the dry ingredients like so don't do the opposite otherwise you'll make a mess into the kitchen just whisk until the lamps are gone the mix is meant to be uh, a bit liquid so don't worry about it much if you add a hand mixer or a mixer it will be much easier for you otherwise you gotta use your hand a little bit okay so that's it the lamps are gone half our recipe is done we're gonna clean a little bit the sides with the help of a silicon spatula or MREs if you like there you go And then inside, there we go, like so. And now what we will do is we'll get a piece of clean film. Cut it like so. And then we'll get a spray with oil spray. I'm gonna spray on top so it doesn't stick onto the dough then we'll go on top now that one we'll leave it for about 30 minutes to proof don't push too much as you can see our dough has more than doubled in size it's very fluffy and very sexy uh, that means we're ready to go and then for the rest of the setup you will need um, a plate or a tray with, with uh, absorbing paper 
kitchen paper, whatever you want to call it. Then we'll get a glass with um, hot water and a little spoon. Our syrup is cold as well and then we've got our oil. We're going to switch it on to uh, 160 degrees. I've got a digital thermometer uh, or you can use a probe if you want, whatever it is. But make sure you keep it to 160 degrees. Uh, and we're going to double fry them for extra crispiness. Now, at the meaning time, uh, the recipe can be found down below in the description. Uh, it will not be my website, it will be Akis Petrojikis. However, as you're down there, you can click the uh, red button, the subscribe button, to join our family and be notified for the future videos. And also, if you click on our channel, we have a lot, a lot more recipes on our own website, yamskalafats.com uh, as well. So make sure you have a look. For now, we shouldn't go more than 160. If you go in reduction like me and it heats up more, you can spill it on the side a little bit. But make sure you keep it right. Now we're gonna remove our clean film. Remember, key step was that we put oil onto our uh, clean film so the dough hasn't stuck a lot. Otherwise, it will be a whole mess. And now we'll need a couple of gloves. Okay, so we're in temperature. So now I want you to see closely what we're gonna do. With our hand, with a glove, we're gonna have the dough here, right? So we'll put the pan close to us. And now we'll go above, we'll squeeze, and we'll get little balls, and then drop them in, and they will puff. So get a little bit of dough again, using the squeezing with the index and the thumb. You get a little bit like that, just for the shape, and then you go in with a spoon and you drop it. The goal is to go around, but obviously it doesn't really matter that much. So you don't want to overfill it because the, uh, the temperature will drop. Oh, be big one. <laughs> there you go. And now the secret is once they start get a little bit of color, we're gonna remove them. We want them white to slightly yellow, not much more. And you will see why. Also, in case they stick together, do not be afraid, because then they then we're gonna cool them down a little bit, and then we're gonna refry them. So it doesn't really matter. Make sure you keep an eye on the temperature, and you'll be fine. If you have a sp small pan like I do, make sure you flip them over so you cook both. You can also baste them a little bit, throw some oil on them, hot. That will help puff them up. There we go. Look at them beauties. And another way to keep the temperature in spot, when you're putting the cold mix inside the oil, it drops the temperature. A little bit, so that will help you up. Just make sure you shake a little bit, help them out, or use a spoon to be safe. And here we've got all of our lucumades. Some of them puffed more, some of them are not. You can feel them inside; they hold a bit, and they're slightly raw. So make sure you use a lot of paper and you change it a little bit. Leave them to cool down, and then we're gonna warm up our oil. Fry them again and put them straight to the syrup for about 10 seconds, then remove them and then we're going to drizzle them with some Greek honey, uh, put some cinnamon and some nuts on top. People usually in Greece use walnuts, but we will sprinkle some uh, cashews instead. Okay, so our lukumades have cooled down a little bit and they have the paper has absorbed most of the oil. Now what we're going to do, we're going to fry them again 
and put them into the syrup straight away. All right, we've got them. We've got the oil one si on 160. We're gonna drop them in until they get color, and then we're gonna dip them straight into the syrup. Alright, once you have started getting a bit of color, you don't want to go too far. Just a little bit. We're gonna put them straight into the syrup. Take them a little bit into the syrup for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna scoop them out. And as you can see, they're crunchy. And there we go. They are ready as well. They got a beautiful color and I'll go into the cold syrup. And now you can hear them, they're crunchy. They hit the walls of the bowl. And that's what we want. We're gonna leave them 10 seconds there and we're gonna put some more in. Okay, and the last lucumadas, they are ready. So they're gonna go straight in the syrup. We push the oil to the back. And after 10 seconds, we're gonna put them out of the syrup. They're gonna absorb what they have to absorb. And they make this beautiful crust outside. And there we go, out. And here we are, we're gonna get this beautiful bowl. Look at those beautiful lucumades. They're amazing. See, very simple and easy recipe to do. For now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little bit of honey and we're gonna drizzle them on top. Let it go on top. Or actually let it go a little bit everywhere to be honest. Lucumadas must be with Greek honey. And they should be fresh and warm. Next step of course will be some cinnamon. A good amount. Don't put too much because the nuts are not gonna stick on it. And then we'll get some of our nuts and we'll put them on the top like so. Here you are. Look at this beautiful piece of art. Thank you so much for watching. Here was the video on how to make those beauties. Uh, it's a beautiful snack, family snack. You can have them for a picnic. You can do many, many things with them. They're just amazing and very simple to make. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check the recipe and our other videos that we've got because there's a lot of sweets and savory puris that you can make. We have them on our channel. And if you want to get notified for the beautiful recipes like that, you should click the red button, the right subscribe. Just because we're close to 100 and uh, just a few clicks away. Um, yeah, that way you support us as well. And otherwise, uh, other than that, have a beautiful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Welcome to the history of the recipe of uh, today's video. To give a shout out, most of the information for today will be from Wikipedia. So check them out. Link will be down in the description. So Lukumades, uh, originally called Lokma, is a dessert originated from Egypt made of leavened and deep fried dough balls, as we saw today. They're soaked in syrup or honey, sometimes coated with cinnamon or other ingredients as we did today. The dish was described as early as the 13th century by al-Baghdadi as Lukmat al-Qadi, uh, which translates into judges' morsels. The Arabic word Lokma 
means morsel, mouthful, or bite, and that is proved by uh, Arabic quicker books. The Turkish uh, name for the dish lokma is derived from the Arabic, as is the Greek uh, lokmades. Today you can find it in most of the Eastern, uh, Middle Eastern countries. Uh, in Iraq it's called lokma or lukaymat, and they differ both in size and taste across the country. While in Arab countries of the Persian Gulf, Lukwaimat, um, sometimes spiced with uh, cardamom or even saffron, something that's quite unusual. In other parts of the Middle East, they are also called awameh, meaning a swimmer or zalabia with numerous spelling variations, though the later term may also refer to a similar dish made in long, spiral or straight pattern shape. They're traditionally included in times of religious observances, for example, in the Levant by Muslims at the Ramadan, Jews at Hanukkah, and Christians at the Epiphany alike. So that was some excellent information for today. Um, I will have link. I will have the link down below in the description if you want to have a look. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching so far. I'll see you on the next video and the history of a recipe.